okay yes wow this looks really large anyways um this is something that i really haven't wanted to share but i'm going to it's kind of embarrassing and i feel like i kind of just always complain but these things seem to always happen to me okay going with my um malibu story and the whole credit acceptance thing anyways that's a whole other thing but okay august 25th i got a deal um I was just like, oh my god, whatever, like, I'm not even dealing with it, because that's how I do. But finally, so I go to court on, um, on October 30th, and so I get sentenced and everything. And so then I start my classes on, um, so I have my first orientation on January 23rd. I've been going this whole time, I've been paying, long story short, I didn't keep track at first, but this last year, because I've been doing it for two years now, I've been keeping track, and I was going to OHS Stanislaus, and it seemed that I was always paying, I was always showing up, and like, they are sending me on leave of absences saying I wasn't there. I keep, like, kept giving me different, like, numbers, like, group numbers and forms, and it's just weird. So, this last year, okay, like, I, like, I literally, you know me, I literally kept everything. All my receipts, all the times I was going, everything. So, all of a sudden, like, I've paid over 20, like, $2,700, okay? I think, actually, it's 26 38 32 to be exact. Plus, you know, I paid it off. I just need my license back. Like, you know, I'd like them to... Anyways, I've been asking them for months, right? For months for, like, my financial statements or, you know, my transaction history. Like, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're asking. I've sent them email, email. They never send an email back. They will only call you because I want, you know, written, you know, evidence or not evidence, but written communications. And so, anyways, finally, everyone, like, finally, now at this time, like, other, like, we're doing Zoom meetings for our meetings and stuff because of the COVID. But everyone else started to ask about the bills and, like, She'd be like, oh, you owe $300, and they're like, I'm, I'm paid up. Oh, well, you were, didn't come to this, no idea, I was here, you know? And um, people ask for their, like, you know, transaction history, and nobody seems to know it. No one can tell us when, like, we've been there, you know, anything. And then so finally, like, it's me and a few other people asking these questions, you know? And, um... I don't mean to be like that. I don't want to, like, ask, but it's like, they think we're drunk. They think we don't notice. They think that, you know, well, basically, you do what they want and you pay or else you're not going to get your license back. You're not. You're going to have to go back to court. And um, so finally, well, the other day, exactly two years, exactly two years from when I got my DUI, my counselor called me and said that they were closing down OHS. What? Oh yeah, we're closing down. So um, you can just call um, Stanislaus, what is it called? I have the whole thing here. Cause there's only two places you can pick. And so, oh, here I am. Oh, Stan State, the Safety Center in Stanislaus County. So you can go there, you can finish your classes, and um, they'll just have your finances over there. What? You guys have been in business since 1978. And now all of a sudden you're going out of business? And this, I, I also have been asking for a financial assessment for, since 
since I started, but they always put you off or like, you know, say you don't show up, so you have all this other stuff. But I literally, I have stuff backing up every little thing. Every time I was gone, every time, you know, when I paid, everything. So, um, yeah, they're closed. So I don't believe that. I don't know if I do. It's 1978 they were open till. So I started looking around and um, I noticed a lot of things. Oh, and I think that they gave me a financial assessment thing one time that they were supposed to. Because ever since she gave me this, like months and months after, it was obviously taken. But they have like dates on here, like 2000, like 8114. 8214, 1217, 12218. I knew how many DUI they. And it goes to 6119. And then, like, literally, I looked up DC Bowl on here. Can you find most of them? And then I looked up, I started looking up this, like, this says Cervex or something. From C I V E R E X. Well, that's some, like, international, I have all the papers. It's an international company that this one person owns, like, all weird, and it's like, all the websites, like, the domains haven't even been paid. Anyways, <laughs> it's a hot mess. So, this is just a little tidbit of what the whole story consists of. I can go through the whole thing, and dude... Seriously, like I was only supposed to be charged five dollars a month, and they are charging one hundred and forty, plus all the times you missed and the re, you know, every time you missed an appointment, had to reschedule an appointment when you paid late. Like there's a big ass something going on, and if I'm gonna have to be the one to say something, I guess I will be, but. I just want my license back. I've paid way, 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 way over what I should have paid. And I've done all my stuff. And now they're holding our certificates hostage. Basically. So, anyways. OHS. Stop calling. Send me my transaction history. I just want some answers. A lot of people do. I mean, literally, like, and I know what you're doing. You're trying to stall me to, like, fix my whatever you're going to do on my account. But I don't know. I don't know what these dates are. I don't know if that's some kind of tax. Like, I don't know. I just want my certificate. I just want people to get screwed over. But I guess they're not now because you guys are going going out of business. That's what, that's what my counselor told me. Michelle. I don't mean to drop names, but... That's what she said. Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. Okay, and this is one big thing. This is the same day, August 25th, that, two, day, two years since I got my DUI. And also I called the bank that day because um, somehow, I okay, I paid a $37 fee the last time because I kind of got a little upset in my last group and I kind of hung up on the voice, on the little Zoom thing because We've been going around about this, like, me asking for transaction history literally for, I don't even know how long. But, so I don't know. But anyways, right after that, my card was used for DoorDash for, like, $250. I have the receipt. $250 and, like, $30 in Fremont. So I called my bank, and I started a thing on that. And then, like, that day, she called me and then was like, oh, we're closing. And a lot of my payments that I made weren't showing up. So I don't know who's the responsible or what, but someone needs to look into this. Like, why hasn't there ever been a police officer or something that pretends to be a drunk person that needs that has a DUI, that actually goes to the classes, actually, like... Because, dude, it goes way bigger than me, and... Anyways, to be continued on this one. 
we'll see what's up. Bye.